Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how I created this image. Intro! So here we are out in the studio, and I, I want to give just a brief overview of how I set up this photo that you've seen at the beginning of the video. So right here is my key light, and, and all this is really doing is just giving some nice soft side light, and it's illuminating the label here so you, can, so you can see it and so you can read it. Over here is a reflector that I set up, and this is just bouncing in some light to fill in the shadows on the side, uh, so you don't lose this side label completely to darkness. Right here I have a flag that I set up. I noticed when I was taking the photo that I, I was getting a lot of glare here on, here on this glass. So I set up a flag to uh, mitigate the, any of that um, glare that I was getting. Here we have our main subject. Uh, this is a bottle of whiskey. And I, I was just really drawn to this bottle just by the way it looks. And I, I, really, love, I really love how the, uh, the drippings here are coming down on the glass. And it, that's, it, just, it just made me want to take a picture of it. I'll never drink it, but... I like taking pictures of it. And then here we have a glass of bourbon. Because <laughs> uh, I, I only bought one bottle. I didn't want to, you know. So that's, that's bourbon down there. But there, there's, there's multiple ways to light up liquid in a bottle. Um, the one way that I like doing it is I'll set up a flash right here, pointing in behind. And what I do is I have a gold reflector that I made. Uh, it's just gold duct tape, nothing special. And what I'll do is I'll set this right here for a frame and I'll bounce some light into the back of it and the, the, the liquid just glows and it looks, it looks awesome. So in Photoshop, I'll just, I'll just mask in what I want and leave all the rest of it out. And I'll do the same thing here for the glass. I'll just mask in uh, what I want and get rid of the rest. Now for the background, for the background, what I have, what I have going on back here is, is just a couple planks of wood that I got from a local craft store. And I, I just love the way it looks and I have it. I have it clipped together as two separate pieces of wood, um, or planks. I have them clipped together so they don't fall apart. And then right over here is another flash that has a grid on the front of it. And all it's doing is just spilling just a little bit of light right here. Just, just to illuminate the background a little bit. I don't, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna illuminate the whole background because then you'll have a problem with separation. You're, you'll, you'll have trouble distinguishing what the subject is. So when I was taking this photo, I, I was also thinking, you know, I, I want a little bit of, I want to, I want to get a little bit of atmosphere in the photo. So I was trying to think like, what, what would you see around this type of scene? The first thing that came to mind was smoke because typically you would drink alcohol in a bar. Bars are typically smoky. So what I did was I got a can of atmosphere and this stuff is awesome. I, I, I should have bought this a while ago. You just one little spray and you got smoke everywhere. And you know, you don't have to cough. You don't have to smell like cigarettes and it's awesome. So what I did was I, I took this flash and I put a blue gel on it and I put this flash right about, right about here and I set the camera up on a 10 second timer so I would, I would hit the shutter and I would run over real quick and just, just before the picture went off, spray some atmosphere and voila. And then that's just another layer for the photo that I can, I can mask in later to create the, the, the end product. So that's a quick overview of the, the setup that, that it took to, to, make, to create the photo that you've seen at the beginning of the video. Now let's jump over the computer and I'll show you a little bit about how I put it together. Now that we're back down here from the studio, let's jump over to the computer and take a look at how I process the image. So I imported all my photos into Lightroom and I called them down till I found the two images that I wanted to do. Um, in the studio, I talked about uh, wanting to mask these together uh, different layers together. So this is the photo that I chose for the main subject. Um, it has everything about everything about it is what I wanted. I was thinking in the studio that I was gonna have to mask in this fog that I added in here. It turns out that this one worked out just all in one shot. So that's less masking that I gotta do in Photoshop. And th this is the other image that I, that I selected. I'm gonna use this image to mask in all the gold color that you see inside the liquid. If you can see, if I toggle between the two, if you look right here, the, the liquid is so dark and you, you lose it in the background. So what I like to do is, like I said in the studio, I like to put this reflector back there to just, 
to just add in, to just bounce in a little bit of light into the, into the liquid and it separates it so much better from the background. So Lightroom edits were pretty simple. All I did was, I went in here, you can see some of my settings over here. I, I tweaked some of the white balance. Um, I took some of the contrast out because I boosted the vibrance down here. And I, just minor tweaks in here, nothing, nothing too crazy. Here's what the image looked like when I started. And here's the Lightroom edited version. Um, I also came down here to the HSL panel and I messed with some of the colors. Um, if I toggle in between, you can see the differences in the blue, uh, in the blues and some of the reds. And that's pretty much it. All I, all I did was mess around with the things in the basic panel and the HSL panel. Um, I didn't really do anything else in the other, in the other screens, maybe some uh, lens corrections and things like that. But pretty, pretty basic edit in the Lightroom area. So let's jump over to Photoshop and I'll show you how I put everything together. So if you, if you don't know how to get these photos from Lightroom into Photoshop, all you do is you come down here and you select the photos that you want to work with in Photoshop. And then you come up here to Photo, go to Edit In, and then all the way down at the bottom, you go to Open as Layers in Photoshop. And that'll just make one file for you to work with. So when you first import uh, your two photos, you'll have them down here. And the, imp the important thing to do here, so you select both of your layers, and then you go up to Edit, Auto Align Layers. And I just leave everything on Auto and just click OK. So what Photoshop's gonna do is it's gonna take the two layers and it's gonna, it's gonna auto align the layers so that they are on top of each other exactly. If you don't do this step, then masking will be a nightmare later. Uh, you'll, be, you'll be doing a mask and you'll notice that you'll have weird artifacts where the, the bottle doesn't line up with the, with the layer below it. So make sure you do this step, it's very important. All right, as you can see, the first photo that pops up is the, the, the main photo that I wanna work with. This is the photo that I want to this is, this is the photo I want to use for my end result. And if I toggle in between here, turn the eye off and turn the other layer on, here's, here's my other photo. And this is where I want to bring through this nice golden orangey color. I want to pull it through to the front of the photo. So what I did, so what I did here on this layer was I created a layer mask. And if I, if I hold down Option and click right here on the layer mask, you can, you can see where my masking was. So right in here, I just, I just painted in a little bit of, this is actually gray, it's not black. So in Photoshop, anything, anything that's dark colored, anything that's black, uh, reveals what's below the layer. Anything that's white conceals it. So what I did here was, I, I, realized, I realized that that this was actually a little too bright for what I wanted. It just, it, it took away too much from, it took away too much from uh, the label here. So what I did was in the layer mask was instead of using a, instead of using a, a deep black, I used, I used a lighter gray. It only pulled through some of the brightness. So if we hold down option and click on it again, you can see, you can see the difference here. And if I just turn off this middle layer here, I can toggle between the two images and you can see, you can see the difference. It, it, it brings so much character to that bottle. And honestly, this was the hardest part of processing this image. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward and pretty simple. On this layer, I went through and I did some cleanup. Now you can see here, I'll toggle in between. So right here, right here, there's an artifact. Here, there's an artifact. I went through and I got rid of those. Up here you can see there's some glare right here from the blue flash that was firing from behind. So I went through, I got rid of, I got rid of that. I got rid of this right here. I went through, I got, I got rid of distractions, things that just don't need to be there. I got, I got rid of the blue stuff down here because you don't need it there. So that was some minor cleanups, but there, there's, there, there was other things about the photo that was bothering me that I had, that I wanted to go in and do some editing. So. So for instance, right here in this reflection, you can see the ribs of, of the umbrella that I was shooting with. And it just, it looks sloppy, it looks ugly. So I wanted to fix that. I love the dripping wax that comes down from the top. That's what really drew me to want to shoot this uh, bottle. But the wax right here doesn't touch the bottle and that bothers me. And then a little bit right here, same thing here. You can, you can kind of tell that there's something funky there. 
um, and that's because I was using an umbrella and you can and you can tell so what I did in the next layer was I went through I went through and I did some cleanup stuff I did more cleanup I cleaned up over here I got I got rid of these blue artifacts that was on the glass and then I also went in here and I got rid of all the extra ribs that was in this reflection right here that looks so much nicer there's some numbers down here in the bottle and that, that just that bothered me too so I, I got rid of them as well but now now the now the bottle looks looks a lot cleaner um, but you can also see that I got rid of the wax right here and then all I did all I did was I made a copy I made a copy of what was there and I moved it down it makes more sense that the wax is, is touching a couple more minor edits in the studio I talked about putting a reflector behind this glass right here so that I can do the do a similar effect here and 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 kick some light into the liquid to make it glow a little bit and when I was processing the images in Lightroom I, I noticed that it was too bright for this glass here and it, and it took away from my main subject which is the bottle of whiskey uh, so I decided to just leave the glass uh, dark and here in Photoshop I just I added a little bit to it just to brighten it up so I, I, I did a brightness adjustment layer here and I'll, I'll toggle that on and off so you can see what it does and then this layer right here I brought up my brush and I sampled I sampled I think it was right about here I grabbed that color and then I just I just brushed a little bit right there and then I changed the mode to screen and that just gives a that just gives a little extra a little extra punch a little extra color so that pops a little bit it's not too much it doesn't draw too much attention and that was my that was my intention and then the last thing that I had to do to fix this you can see around the, around the edge here that the layers didn't line up when I first put them in into Photoshop so I went through and I, I used the the marquee tool and and all you gotta do is you just you just select just about just like that right click and hit fill and then you can do a content aware and it'll it'll clean that right up and and you can see that right here in this layer when I toggle it on boom you can see a little bit right there but I think that's just uh, I think that's just artifacts from Photoshop because once you get it into Lightroom you, you don't notice it no more and that's job done all, all there is to do is save it and it'll it'll import itself back into back into Lightroom where you can view it right here thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it if you have any other questions or comments please leave them below if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in the next video later